Getting to Unreal rank is one of the hardest things you can do in Fortnite. In this season, they made it even harder. Just last season, we saw nearly a million ranked players reach Unreal, and Fortnite decided this was far too many. So to make Unreal even more prestigious and reserve it for only the best players, they made the upper ranks even harder to get through, which you'll see a lot of examples of throughout this video, so you'll want to make sure to watch until the end. So my hardest ever Unreal speedrun started here, in Diamond 2 squads, and because this is so early in the season, these lollies were tough. I mean, like, just watch. Three of us went down, and I needed Kyle to clutch this out to gain me rank, but it was just impossible without heals. And this is when I knew I was in for a grind. Wait, what? 11 eliminations in 13th place lost me 7%, and I'm only Diamond 1. I'm not even near the hard ranks of Elite and Champions yet, like, this is bad. But to be fair, that was a pretty bad game, so we dropped right back into our second game and really wanted to win to see how much a win would progress my rank. So we locked in it went off. Oh, that lightning right here, lightning right here. That guy's not real. I hate fighting non real demons. There you go. I got some. Nice, oh, nice. my. oh my god. Bro. Wow. Got lightning from. I don't even know where. I'm just. Oh my god. Boys. Someone's lightning from the mountain. If you guys can find a rift and get out of here, that's your best bet. Dude, why is he just running with these kids? 40, 80. Yeah. I don't know what is with these kids. Are they just kids? Dead on one. Nice, I just got that. On here. I got so long. Do you need mass multi? Uh, pop, 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 33 cracked on one. Yeah. Yeah. Cracked on yeah. both, both are cracked. The first win of the Unreal grind was official, and with a nice team effort, I was promoted into Diamond 2. Well, I only reached 35%, which honestly I expected more. But maybe this is what the ranked update was, maybe it's just a lot harder to rank up now. So with that in mind, we had to stay locked in, because any bad game could result in a huge loss. So we wiped the team contesting our drop and WK'd over to Battlegrounds to wipe that team as well. Vibes were high, everything was going so well, but that all changed when Dalty and SR3 dropped and me and Kyle found ourselves in a pretty tough situation. Like that kid's so weird okay. jumping me for what? Brando, uh, Ronnie changed his Discord name all of a sudden, so that's probably true. Nice gun. I have to reload every gun in my skin. inventory. Yeah, Rex, I I've known him for a long time. Nice. I just had to reload. Gather, gather safe medallion. You grab the. You have plenty of medkits. You're actually good. You can go far in zone. Oh no, it's two ticking. Oh. You got it. Nice. nice. Get that siphon. Get that siphon. Bro. <laughs> like, I guess, okay, I'm not gonna lie, bro. <laughs> that one was so fucking Bro, bad. I was cooking there for a second, but. Yeah, that was that was bad. And it resulted in just a 4% gain. We're now approaching two hours in, and I haven't even gone up a whole hundred percent in diamond rank, which by the way, Elite and especially champions is literally 20 times harder than diamond. Like diamond rank is supposed to be easy, and I was starting to question if this was even going to be possible. At this pace, getting to Unreal could take 20, 30, maybe even over 40 hours of grinding, which is way longer than I planned. For. for our very next game, we stepped back up and I won't lie, I got pretty hard carried this game. But all that mattered was getting the win, which only took me up 22%. I mean, I think you guys kind of get the idea by this point, but the progress in rank right now is incredibly slow. And it got even worse when three of us went down, leaving it all up to Dalty to try to club. Nice one time, one time. Oh, hello? 28, 24 votes. Nice, 97. One, one shot can bullet. No way. 
and he fell just short. It was a really good clutch to get to that point, but when I saw this, a 19 Elam second place only gained me 8% in diamond rank, I was actually in disbelief. I refuse to believe that in just one update, Fortnite made it this much harder to reach Unreal. So I came up with a plan. Currently, all of my teammates are in Unreal and Champions, and although Fortnite says your team goes up the same amount regardless of your rank, I was convinced that my teammates high ranks was stunting my progress. So I left the lobby and Dolty and Kyle came back being gold and unranked, now with me as the highest rank in the lobby and just watch how this changed things back down on back on rather give me our first game was an instant win, and I gained 45% from it, literally double what I got for our squad's win, and this is the moment I knew Unreal actually was possible. What this showed me is that even though a lot of the players we were going up against were the same, basically a big mix of everyone from Platinum to Champions, the progress I gained for being in the same or lower ranks than my opponents was significantly more. And with this newfound secret, we were vibing, now feeling great about this, and then I had another really bad sell where I just missed multiple shots. Dalty went down next and then Kyle was clutching up but it's just almost impossible to escape the lightning bolts so we lost in 10th place with 13 elim. And remember basically this exact placement lost me 10% earlier in this video but now with trios and lower ranks I actually got promoted into diamond 3, the final rank before elite which is where rank gets even harder. To be honest though knowing we could have a fairly bad game like only get top 10 and still rank up was a huge confidence boost. This meant we could play free, we could W key every fight, we didn't have to be all strategic, and that makes the game way more fun. And honestly, when you're having fun, you're usually playing pretty well, which was evident in our next game when we just dominated the lobby. One of, one of, one kind of like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the casual 25 Elam Trios win boosted me 42%, which as we start approaching these top ranks is insane. I knew my progress earlier had to be a fluke because this type of progress is what I'm used to. What took us three hours as an Unreal squad, we had now accomplished in one hour as a lower ranked trio and we weren't stopping anytime soon. We dropped right back into our edge of the map labs, wiped the team that contested us, and pushed right over to Battlegrounds. As long as we don't sell here, this should be the game that places me in elite rank. I'm gonna do a wall, I'm done. I'm out of my box, I'm out of my box, he's one shot, absolute one shot. 116. Oh, you guys. Our first back to back wins of the Unreal grind, and it finally felt like we were picking up some steam, especially when Elite rank was finally mine. My rank skin upgraded, and I was excited. But one fact that a lot of people don't know is that Elite rank is where a huge amount of players get stuck in what I call ranked purgatory. This is when no matter how hard you try, you just can't escape. You have a good game, you go up 10%. A bad game, you go down 7%, making it take days or even weeks of playing 
playing without ever making it to that next rank. Over 2 million players found themselves in that exact spot last season. And with the update to higher ranks being harder now, that number of players stuck will be way higher. But I can't let myself be one of them. Although I can't say my pep talk helped much because in my first elite game, we were shambles nearly the entire game. Dolty went down, we got him back up, we got lightning, Kyle went down, I went down, Dolty clutched a reboot, zone max pulled while we were already deep with no rotation, I got wings but got beamed before I could take off, and both me and Kyle died in the 5 tick zone. Dolty somehow made it out though, then picked off one player coming out of the zone and put himself in a 1v2 situation for the win and did this. Yeah. I get it. Fish. Dalty is the GOAT, and my first game of Elite resulted in a 19% gain, which was not expected. After this update making rank harder, I expected 10 to 15% max for an Elite win, so this was a huge motivator sending us into our next game. We were on a 3 game win streak, spanning from the middle of Diamond 3 to nearly halfway through Elite, all in about an hour of play. But obviously, the streak of dominating can't go on forever, especially in ranked, and we found that out the hard way, getting just obliterated off spawn and dropping 5%, which honestly seems crazy for a loss, especially in elite, but that's something that you just have to wipe off and move on from. In ranked, dwelling on losses can send you on a huge downward spiral of losing more and more games. So with that in mind, we just locked in a little extra for our next game, which I was hitting some nice snipes in. 110, what? Oh, that's not you. I'm done. Oh. No, I did it's so bad. Knocked one on nice. island. Up. And another pretty easy win that sent me up 20% of elite. At this rate, I'm only two wins away from reaching champions, which is kind of crazy. This video started with me being shocked at how little I was going up in diamond, and now I'm still shocked, but at how big I'm going up in elite. I guess ranked can be a little confusing, but I'm never gonna complain about extra progress. So into our next elite game we go, and I got fried off my wings the first time this has actually happened to me. And the bad part is that it was against a good team who Dalty went down to, and left Kyle as a solo storm fighting to clutch. And Kyle, of course, pulls off a crazy clutch and gets both me and Dalty rebooted. Now look, everyone is obviously going to say that I'm getting hard carried, which, you know, could have some truth to it. Both of these players are better than I am, but what that allows is for our team to play in a different style. These guys are huge W keyers, so I can basically sit in the back and just constantly spray anyone they're fighting, letting them get a way easier elo. And when I do need to take my ones, I can win them. And if you still want to say I'm just getting carried, then subscribe and wait for my next rank video where I'm getting to Unreal completely solo. For now though, I like our team strategy and it led to another Elite W, boosting me 21% of Elite. Every win it's just going up. We had 19, 20, 21, and if I can get 22 in this game, that's champion. So dropping into our same edge of the map spot, a huge 22% win is the goal and we need a lot of Elims for that to happen. 116. Yeah, I've been on Xbox for a minute. Oh yeah, it doesn't help a lot. A lot. Unfortunately, a lot of Elims did not happen. I got double teamed by the Greek gods, and Kyle was left alone again to clutch, but this time he was just too overwhelmed to really do anything, dying in fourth place, which wasn't enough to reach champions, but still a 10% gain that now set me up for a guaranteed spot in champions this next game, as long as we don't have a generational cell and lose off spawn. 
116 on that guy. Oh my god, I got headshots now. And yeah, that was a bit of a sell. That's back-to-back -back fourth place finishes, which is a terrible spot to die because it still takes so long to get there, but you gain such little percent from it. That game was also the first time we've actually died to Unreal players, which at this time, because it's so early in the season, there's only about 500 of in the world, so it's pretty rare to even fight them. But I'm literally 4% away from champions, so I told the team to lock in, and that's exactly what we did. Other one's away, other one's away, in this box. One ten, we traded them. Oh, both of them cracked in here. I just got one. Yeah. Nice. Shit. Yeah. Dead on them. Sorry, brother. I'm DC ramping you, brother. And Dalty Walty with the clutch again. This guy just has it in him. That's the game that's going to do it. From elite to officially champions rank. The final rank before Unreal and also the hardest. You go from unranked to usually around gold, then all through platinum, all through diamond, all through elite, ending up in champions. Just one rank away from the promised land of Unreal. But this is where so many fail. This is easily the most frustrating for Fortnite experience in history, as you'll soon see. From second place 0% gains to 3% losses off spawn, champions sometimes seems impossible to get through, but this trio was still in high spirits, at least for now. We had a solid win streak going in elite and wanted to replicate that in champions, but that was a short-lived dream. Despite the sixth place, which isn't great, I still went up 4%, which might not seem like a lot, but honestly, for champions rank, I'm really happy with that. That means all we have to do is not die off spawn, and as long as we can still win some games, slowly but surely, I'll make my way to Unreal. But not if stuff like this happens. Oh, no, it's it like, frozen? it's just froze. My game connection just like died, and then it kicked me into the lobby, leaving me wondering if I would lose percent or if my team makes it far, will I still gain? I joined their lobby to spectate, and even without me, they were going off. Oh my, oh my god. god. I hit that. Nice. Oh my god. Fragging. They ended with 24 elims, basically 2 v 3 the entire lobby. And although I couldn't see the progress screen, I actually went up to 45% of champions. That's a 14% gain from where I previously was, which is huge for champions. But at this point, we had been playing for eight hours straight and I really needed some sleep. But the very next morning, we picked it right back up and even picked SR3 back up. Now these are Unreal players again, but the key difference is that I'm now champions rank as well. So at this point, it shouldn't matter. And we tried to confirm that by dominating our first lobby of the day. That on one? Are these guys real? Wait. Actually, you guys want to know something? Oh, yeah. And we did just that. Absolutely dominated with a near 40 bomb win, taking me up just 9%. Honestly, not great for a 38 Elim win, but this is squads, which is known to be the slowest mode to rank up. The good part is that if you have a good team, you can kind of just dominate lobbies and that makes up for the slow progress. But if you're going to take that route, you have to win. And we made sure to focus in and do just that. Back, back, back. <laughs> Red. <laughs> oh, head just sniped out of the sky. Wait, what? Wait, hello? <laughs> I mean, all the big orcs pulled out of this game, so... And there we were, with back-to-back -back Champions Lobby wins, boosting me up 10% this time. Again, in squads, this is more of a slow and steady climb. Just 9-10% to at a time, and try as hard as possible to win every single game. Which, honestly, since this squad has gotten back on, we're 2 for 2, and looking to go 3 for 3, if we can pull off a third win in a row. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh my god, oh my god, I Jump him! <laughs> I'm up here with Carter. 28, guy. He's one, one HP right here. One, one again? 
I'm about to hit the first I mean, we're getting to the point where we're just looking for bush campers to end these games. Not really something you'd expect in champions in Unreal lobbies, but here we are doing it. And the third win in a row sends me up just 5%. That was unexpected. We had quite a few less eliminations this game, but I mean, a whole win being only 5% seems wrong. Unfortunately, there's no way to really dispute this. You kind of just have to accept it and move on, which is exactly what we did. And there's just something about the three win streak that's cursed. Our next game started off strong, just like our previous three. I hit another crazy snipe on a guy in a car, and that led us to this fight where Kyle went down, then Dalty fell, and soon after, I died as well. Within seconds, our team had fallen apart, but SR3 did manage to escape, which is one of the best ways to save your rank in champions. If we die here, we're guaranteed to lose, but if SR3 can run and hide and clutch up a ton of placement, that saves an entire like 30 minutes worth of progress, which is exactly what he did. A fourth place solo clutch by SR3 gained me a whopping 1%. But the key part here is that I didn't lose anything, because my last win was only 5%. So every little bit counts here, and that's what our mindset was heading into our next game. Yo, give me a big, give me a big so I know you just I mean, so bad. Yeah. And how are you doing all that? Oh, there's multiple, what? Oh, I know there's him, I think. Okay. I, know I just... Oh, I hit him off right here. Let's get this face right to my wall. Bind you, bind you. This tunnel had us completely pinned in against a low ping squad that we could do almost nothing about. This game, I lost 3%. This wasn't a bad game. We literally outplaced over half of the lobby, picked up 13 elix, and I still lost 3 entire percent. That's literally over half of how much I gained for an entire win. Like, that's absolutely ridiculous. But again, complaining gets you nowhere, and you have to wipe it from your mind to make sure you're locked in for the next game game because it's looking like we have to win if i want to rank up at all Please, right there, right here. watch your back carter i mean carter he's rising one right now my wall carter oh. oh where am i getting shot from wait under 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 oh yeah what? letting it rain a nice little team win there and i was boosting eight percent this time which gave me a little faith back the whole plus five percent for a win and minus three percent for a loss thing had me nervous especially when the very next game sr3 went down and we were in a pretty rough spot with the risk of losing off spawn again he's one he, he's one he's in the sky I'm scared of this cat of Crack, oh God, cracked over. on me. Oh, need minis? Or... Okay. Frank? Frank, Frank, Frank. <laughs> Am I weirdest? Yeah. Are you weirdest? In the Wings? In there, in there, in there. Probably that kid. Almost Probably. dead. That kid. Last kid, last. Oh, wait, no. Two hundred. And with that win, I go up a whopping six. 7%. Now the first change I've really noticed about ranked being harder this season is that up here after like 75% of champions, it seems like the progress is slowing down even more than just earlier in champions. Like I went up 14% earlier for a champions win, but now it's only 7, 8, and sometimes as almost 5% for that same win. Now I don't know that this is true, it could also just be a coincidence, but I mean you guys are seeing it too, this like last 50% of champions, I'm ranking up so slow. Now, whether or not that's true, I'm at 82% of champions, and I'm really closing in here on the final stretch. At most, this should be three more wins if we don't sell, but my team did not get the memo. SR3 fell, then Dalty, then Kyle, and all of a sudden, it was on me to clutch this one. <sighs> I can't drop. Oh, Yo, Isabella, thank you for. It might just be one. They're even. Fly, 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 fly. Like, like, 
Oh, watch out to your right, watch out to your right. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Wait, you're good? Yo, W clutch. Oh, my God. Carter's, yeah, Carter's so handsome. Bro, I, just I, I, have, I ended up dying in zone, but not before that nice little clutch to reboot the team. And then I gotta sit back and watch Dalty and Kyle go to work. Nice, you need all that so bad. What is What What is that head glitch? Nice. Oh my god. Careful, 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 careful. Oh my god. Oh, so much loot. Support. I need help, I need help. Like that. One HP on him. Nice. Careful, Zeus. You're probably dead. Some of us, some of us. Nah, I died, I died. Despite the effort, Dalty and Kyle fell short in third place with 14 elims, and I gained nothing. Just a top three finish, eliminating three and a half other squads, and that's good enough for no progress. Like Fortnite, what are we doing? I know they want it to be harder, but that's absurd. So now we know it's literally a win or bust. The only issue is sometimes you just can't control stuff. Like when lightning from a Greek god goes through your builds. Like this game is so confusing sometimes. Thankfully, SR3 was already on his way out and just ran to once again save progress. Because dying here, who knows bro, Fortnite might just take away 10% just for fun. Like nothing about this system makes sense anyways but thanks to my teammate we didn't have to find that out because he rebooted us which led to a 3v4 with the win on the line nice Lawson. One HP, one HP. No way. how that hit me 49 i'm almost dead i'm one. Oh my god and again, we just can't seem to get out of these situations right now, so second place it is, which is good enough. I mean, it's literally the best you can do besides winning, but apparently Fortnite doesn't care, zero percent. Like, we did better than 23 other teams that queued into this game, and we get zero percent. That's now an hour of playing ranked, a second and third place finish, 21 combined eliminations, and zero percent gain. This is the most frustrating part of ranked, especially because Unreal is so close, just 20% away. But that 20% is just impossible. My thoughts were that the issue was squads because you gain the least progress in squads. So to test the theory, me, SR3, and Kyle tried a trios match and it was looking good. A few elims to start the game out and even a pretty nice elim here with some peace control going down. But just like previous games, everything fell apart fast. I got snuck from above, leaving Kyle and SR3 to 2v3. This guy ran straight through Kyle's wall and he went down and then again, it all came down to SR3. God himself just sent that to me on God. That just about sums up how the last three hours of Ranked have been, and this was the cherry on top. So apparently squads wasn't the issue, and having a full team gave us our best chance of winning, so we picked Dalty back up. All we need to do is string together a couple of good games, and it starts here. We get through early and mid game without any real troubles, but then Kyle and SM3 went down to a team of sweats. Me and Dalty both ran, but opposite directions, so we were both now solo, and I was on Mission Impossible to grab the reboot cards. You got cards? Oh, Hell yeah. Card getter. Now, um, Carter, I wish you the best of luck over there, man. There's no, nobody here. There's healed vending machine, by the way. They know that I'm here. Where are you going? I'm not going to You can I'm live, old. bro. I believe. Just stay on the train. Let's go, Carter. I mean, surely they didn't hear that, right? Wait, these guys suck. Wait, killed one? Wait, one Carter, yeah. solo card? One card. One card. Yeah, good. Carter, stay alive. Yeah, I want to take him on our while I play some break solos. Let's. Playboy Carter. 50 on this guy. Jump I'm dead. I'm behind you then. For the right price. 50 on him. 50 on him. He is, he is in this. Two on her. Two piece, brother. Good job, brother. Hades. Wait. Where's your team at? 
Wait, what? Mission Impossible was a success. The reboot cards got the team back up and they came through with our first win in what seems like forever to gain me 7% and take me just 12% away from Unreal. And it's so close, but you cannot celebrate early because you can just as quickly lose everything if you start dying too early. So our number one focus was to do whatever it takes to not die early. If someone goes down, it's an instant revive. If two go down, it's a disengage and play for the reboot. This strategy strategy works surprisingly well to make endgame, but it sacrifices quite a few elims, which means you need to win the game, and we knew that. Sick of boys. Sorry. <laughs> Die bombing his. Come here. I missed. Yeah, look at our base, man. <laughs> and I have nothing. If we get shot out, we're trapped. I'm running out of mask, guys. Shut up. Yeah, I got mask. Wait. Uh -oh. wait. Oh, no. <laughs> wait, <laughs> over. wait, wait. <laughs> I'm alive. Hello? Hello? Like, why do I die? 4v1 situation, kill him before I die, kill him before I die, you get 1%. Don't want to hurt. Nice. We were finally back on track with now two wins in a row, but this was an issue. Another 5% win, like Fortnite does not want me to make it to Unreal. But I've made it this far, I'm not letting Fortnite win, I'm 7% away, and if we win this game with enough eliminations, it has to be the one to put me in Unreal. So I told the team to lock in, and we went for it. Dude, I get PTSD every time I do that. Uh, corner I'm on you. Go back up on the mountain, go back up on the mountain. Or, uh... Take heals on me, Carter. I don't I'm know, no, 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 I just need the gun. I just need the gun. I got the loot dead there. Cracked on one. Oh, I'm out of boom. Shut up. I'm the worst aimer in the game, uh, God. That's my fault. Nice. Nah, you should have it, 100%. Champion. Let's go, bro. Unreal. Unreal is mine, officially becoming the 552nd player in the world to hit Unreal this season. And a wild journey to get there, but this skin in the Unreal label, wow, that looks so good. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more speedruns, and thanks so much for watching.